What is up, fellow Pyro Fanatics? It's Pimp Daddy 28 here. And today I'm going to show you guys the third uh, stash update for my 2018 uh, 4th of July fireworks stash. Went to the American Fireworks demo uh, this past Saturday. Uh, but I did not uh, purchase anything from them uh, because they still didn't have uh, the items that I wanted in stock. Uh, number one and number two. I already picked up most of uh, my stuff from them uh, last month uh and at the end of march when they were having uh the end of march sale so still have my 50 dollar gift card and once they uh get the rest of the items that i need in stock i'll probably head on over and uh, pick up the rest of my stuff but for now um i did pick up uh some stuff uh pretty much the rest of my order from uh pyro dudes uh via chuck uh who was at the i was at the demo this past saturday so uh, after the demo was over was able to uh purchase uh pretty much the rest of my order from him which i will go through as uh i'm going through here so pretty much all these items, in fact, actually all of these items are from Pyro Dudes. So we're going to start on the left over here. We got these uh, Supernova canister shells uh, by Brightstar. I got the six-pack version. Now, I've been hearing uh, quite a few uh, good things uh, from these shells from various Pyros. I think the one thing that these shells kind of stand out for, I believe, is the color. Um, don't quote me that. Don't quote me on that 100%. I'm pretty sure it's the color, but I could be wrong. Uh, but I know they're known for something. Um, so one of the, th the few things that Chuck really helped me out with as I was uh, uh, making a, an order from him was uh, getting uh, various canister shells uh, for my uh, canister shell comparison this year. So, um, And I'll get to that as we're uh, moving along. So got uh, these six-pack shells, which I believe are going to be very, very nice. Can't wait to see them. Um, also uh, picked up the uh, six, or sorry, not six, the uh, three-pack uh, nine-shot assortment uh, by Dominator. Uh, the first one here, we got uh, Killer Robot, and uh, it's nice here. They have this thing where they sh actually show you what the size of the tube is. I'm pretty sure this is two inches. So um, the performance on the side here, we got uh, this item leaves behind a path of pyrotechnic destruction with its nine powerful breaks of color peony or peony, flashing strobe, and gold brocade. And they got a rating system on the right here. You got five on the height, four on the duration. Four on the color, the straight firing pattern, and five on the noise level. Also, uh, the second cake of this uh, three cake assortment, which is my personal favorite, uh, is Devil's Fury. Um, and it's a nine shotter. And the performance, let me get down on one knee here, is the Devil's Fury will be unleashed on the night sky with nine big shots of a jellyfish effect. It features brocades with green, purple, and crackle. And the, uh, the rating system here on the right, it's a five on the height, four on the duration, five on the color, straight firing pattern, and five on the noise level. All right, and the third cake in this assortment is called Wildcat. Um, nine shot by Dominator. And the performance on this one is nine huge shots, Prey on the night sky with color and strobe star shells. This is a wild one. And the rating system on the right has four on the height, five on the duration, five on the color, and four on the noise level, and it's a straight firing pattern. So yeah, so this is, um, this three cake assortment is actually a new item this year from Dominator. So, um, it's going to be very interesting to see how, how these perform. Uh, but by from what I've seen from the videos, uh, these three cakes, uh, seem to be very nice and they're also um not as expensive as some of the other cake assortments or just cakes in general so this if you get this in the case um you'll get it for a much better deal than buying them uh piece by piece so so uh if i were you guys i'd keep your eyes on this assortment if you have kind of like on a budget if you're on a budget and you want some cakes this is a pretty good one to go with all right what we got here is another six pack of canister shells it is the kick at SS Artillery. No, I'm just trying to be YouTube friendly. I'm joking. It's the Kick-Ass Artillery Canister Shells by Dominator. And uh, I think you guys could uh, you could scan this with your phones, I believe, if you want to see what they look like. If I can get this stupid focus out. Come on. There we go. So uh, there's a scanner for it. I believe there's a scanner for uh, the Supernova Shells as well. So I'm trying to get it as close as possible so you guys could uh, check it out. All right, so uh, back to the shells. So, got these uh, six pack of uh, Kick Ass uh, 
canister shells by Dominator. Also, uh, kind of these caught my eye. I haven't seen a video of them yet, but it's a six pack of canister shells. So might as well just uh, throw them in for the canister shell comparison uh, that I'm going to be having this year. All right, uh, over here we got the Pro Ox canister shells by, uh, well, the Pro Ox. It's like Mad Ox, but the Pro Ox version of, uh, or the Pro version of Mad Ox, should I say. Um, now, what's unique about these shells is that they're 1.5 inch canister shells. If any of you guys remember um, the uh, canister shells called Nukem by Firehawk that I demoed uh, either last year or a couple years ago, uh, this is pretty much like, like a similar canister shell, 1.5 inch canister shell. Now, those shells, even though they were smaller than the 60 gram 1.75 canister shells, they still packed a punch. And I'm pretty sure these are going to have a pretty similar punch uh, to the Nukem shells. So, um, Pick those up for good measure, and I'm, I am going to be uh, throwing them in uh, with the, uh, the canister shell comparison as well. All right, now this cake here I got for free uh, from uh, Chuck. He kind of just threw it in. Um, it's uh, called Thrasher by Maddox. It's a nine-shot cake, and the performance on it is what has the power to rip open the night sky. Maddox's nine-shot Thrasher. This item features huge... Bursts of multiple color, peony, and flashing glitter. Now, I didn't even know that when, when I was picking up these cakes from him, I didn't even know that he gave me this cake because I was kind of like taking the items away. So I, I, I wasn't until I got home that I noticed that he gave me this, this cake for free. So shout out to Chuck and Pyro Dudes for doing that. It's the second time they do that where they give me uh, some free items. And there's, he gave, gave me a few, few more free items, which I'll get to as uh, we're moving along. So... Um, over here we got uh, Devil's Playground, uh, 16 shot by Pyro Demon. Now, from what Chuck told me and what he said in his uh, tour uh, video just a, a few weeks ago was that this cake is not the same this year. It's uh, kind of been watered down. So and he so they had uh, Pyro Dudes that is they had quite a bit of the old stock left over from this cake and I want to say Skull Crusher and the Pyro Appetite cake. So. So he still has the good version available at his store. So if, if you guys are interested in getting these cakes, he has, still has the good version at his store. So get them while, while they're still there. So uh, I, was, I kind of decided to pick this one up. I didn't want to pick one up next year since it was probably going to be watered down. So I decided to kind of throw this one into my stash for this year. So I'm going to have to pause the video to kind of work my way around here to see where the performance is so I could kind of show it to you guys. So give me a, give me a sec. All right, uh, so we got the performance on top over here. We got the blue stars, green glittering, chrysanthemum, lemon, and red glittering, chrysanthemum with glittering willow, purple stars and green glittering, chrysanthemum with glittering willow, red glittering, green glittering, chrysanthemum, last four shots, and with colorful, pe colorful peonies with red, green, blue, lemon stars mixed, and huge chrysanthemum shoots up. It's a pretty long performance description. All right, let me put uh, everything back here. All right, uh, so I'm going to go up top here. On the right, we got uh, three packs of uh, Buzz Killers uh, by Biggs. Now, I always wanted to get these uh, because I heard uh, good things about them. Um, I know they've been watered down a little bit over the years. At least that's what I've, I've heard. Um, one interesting thing I see here is that the, uh, the, the title or, uh, of, the, of the pack, like Buzz Killers, it reads different, or at least it, the font is different. So there may be an older version. I know the actual ones, when you look at them, they're titled, or they look the same as, as the one with the red coloring, not the one with the blue coloring. So I, I don't know which one is the old one and which one is the new one. Maybe they're just all new and the packaging was just old. I'm not positive. But if anybody knows, let me know. I mean, I'm not really, because I'm not familiar with these uh, spinners at all. I just know them by name, and I know uh, that they're one of the better ones out there. So um, might do a comparison with these between uh, these and the exploding mosquitoes that I have and Maybe some uh, leftover Big Bs, and actually Chuck was nice enough to give me some free Big Bs by Dominator. <laughs> I'll get to those in a sec. Um, so next over here, we got these Pyro Nation Jawbreaker 5-inch Super Shells. Shout out, big shout out to Pyro Nation, Rob Weller. You guys know them. I never thought I'd ever get these shells, to be honest, or even see them, you know, <laughs> personally. So uh, now, one thing I do want to mention is, is that Chuck was very, very nice enough and this is kind of to help me out with my canister shell comparison this year. It was nice enough to do a half and half. And uh, basically what this is is that it's half Pyro Nation Jawbreaker shells and half Salute to the Flag 
uh, five inch shells by Pyro Demon. I'm gonna see if I can kind of bring the box out so I could kind of show you guys. So here's the salute to the flag uh, Pyro Demon shells, and here is the Pyro Nation uh, jawbreakers. I don't know if you guys could see it. Sorry for the reflection, but yeah, it's a it's an half and half. So 12 shells are the uh, jawbreaker shells, and 12 are the uh, salute to flag salute to the flag uh, five inch uh, canister shells. So all right. So next. We got these depth alone uh, ball shells by window. We got depth alone dilated birking shells. <laughs> no, dilated breaking shells. I don't know why they even spelled them, but anyways. Um, so these are kind of like egg shaped uh, ball shells. They hit very, very nice. I believe they just came out with them last year. Um, you guys already know uh, the story behind ball shells. I already talked about it uh, in, in a couple of videos, and I'm not taking any chances. These shells are still good. Uh, at this current time and I'm getting them while they're still good and uh, I waited like I waited uh, sorry not waited I weighed a couple of them on a scale uh, the whole shell um, I think came out to like 52 53 grams which is similar to the weight of the fix in the fire shell so these shells seems like they they weigh nice they're they're built nice and so I expect them to break very very well and window usually makes some pretty decent shells so I got a whole case of these shells you get eight in the case Eight shells in each box, so 64 total shells. So might even save a few of these shells while while the ball shell is still alive. And you know, it's probably gonna be dead sooner than later. Within the next five years is my estimation, maybe sooner. So de definitely glad that I was able to get my hands on these shells. Once I saw a video of them and Chuck told me about them and he said that they were very, very good from what he's seen. So that kind of convinced me to get a whole case of these suckers. So Moving on, and finally, we got a couple of assortments. The first two assortments that, I'm, that I got for 2018. Don't know if I'm going to get more. I should be able to get one or two more from somewhere. Maybe Sandusky Fireworks. I haven't decided yet. But for now, I know I have two assortments uh, that I'm going to use. And they're all cake assortments, aerial assortments. None of that fountain crap. You know, get to the real uh, nitty-gritty. So the first one is the bad boy assortment by Dominator and you get uh, 10 200 gram cakes and four uh, single shot tubes you got thug nasty 2b cakes uh, 1a 10 1d 1y you got the evil eight shot cake and the cruel I think it's also an eight shot cake so it's very very unique uh, very unique aerial uh, assortment uh, I don't know what these cakes are gonna do the ones with the letters but I will I will most definitely do a demo assortment of these cakes. You know, God willing, I don't have to get in the trouble with any cops or anything like that. I'd like to do it all in one day. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it all in one day, but at the very least, I'd like to kind of get the assortment done and, and kind of post it for you guys to kind of see how it performs. So, And to the right here, similar to the Bad Boy assortment, it's another aerial assortment. It's called the Ultimate Aerial Assortment by Dominator. And you get the 15... Uh, 200 gram cakes and uh, three uh, single shot tubes um, and I don't want to go through all of these cakes I don't want to make, make the video longer than it has to be. You got Tiger, Mirage, Sky Ray, uh, Banshee, Falcon, uh, Mustang, Warthog, I don't know what the, that middle one is, Cobra, uh, T is it Tomcat, Raptor, Warhawk, uh, Lightning, uh, Horned, I believe, or in Saber, maybe, I don't know. But uh, lots of different cakes in there, and they're all, they all kind of have like an aerial uh, theme, or a plane theme, so definitely uh, interested in seeing uh, how these uh, cakes perform, and they all look like they perform differently, so at least by the shapes that they have anyway, so. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the assortments. Um, now down here on the ground, we got quite a few stuff that Chuck just uh, threw in uh, pretty much for free. Uh, we got these uh, party poppers, uh, didn't even know these kind of existed. It's like a six shooter. We basically you take one of these uh, uh, six shooters here that have uh, pretty much confetti on the inside of them. You put it in here, and uh, I don't know if you guys can see the inside there. And it just pretty much you close it and you shoot it, and it shoots out confetti basically. Um, very very uh, nice thing to have for the kids from ages eight and up, as you see here. So might give this one of the to one of the kids and maybe have them kind of start off the Fourth of July probably in proper fashion <laughs> so um 
We got these flying ground blooms, flying ground blooms by Shogun. I don't even think uh, WF Boom has these, but um, and they might, but I don't know. But uh, he just threw these in for free. These should be a very, uh, very nice and fun item to play around with. Um, also got the uh, Eight Shot Blue Thunder by Dominator and the Five Shot Pyramid Power. The reason why I kind of these Roman candles caught my eyes because even though I was born here, both of my parents are, are Egyptian. They're from Egypt. Um, and, uh, this, I really do like, uh, Egyptian culture mainly because number one, I'm Coptic and the Coptic Orthodox, uh, Christian people, they're direct descendants from, uh, ancient Egypt because they've been around since ancient, since ancient, since ancient Egypt's been around for like over 2000 years. So I'm very, very, uh, interested in seeing how these candles perform. I really like this design with the, the Sphinx, uh, heads or the Pharaoh heads, should I say. All right. Uh, next we got the, uh. Five Shots Proox uh, Shell Candle um, by Maddox. Um, again, I don't really know how it performs, but all this stuff is for free, so I guess we'll find out soon enough. Now, Chuck wanted me to kind of uh, demo these for him. Uh, it's called One's called the Orbit Rocket by uh, Cutting Edge. Uh, you get uh, 12 rockets. I don't know how these perform. I haven't, I haven't even checked videos on these yet, so I have to see uh, what they look like. Um, and also the... Uh, Fire Dragon uh, six ounce rockets. You get twelve of those as well. So we'll probably uh, demo these first uh, to check them out, and I'll post videos of them as soon as I can. Um, just have to pick a warm day to kind of go try them out. So also got these uh, Dominator Big Bees. Um, now I have a, a two like two single pieces of Big Bees left over, two or three I believe uh, from a couple years ago. Chuck just you know threw these in for free. What these are nice, but what I, I don't like about them is that they they go up in the air, and when they do explode, they explode pretty much when they come back down, like right next to you. So, so be careful when you're lighting these. Light them and run. Get away from the the, the blast radius or where you think they'll land. So, um, so yeah. <laughs> uh, also got the this 12 inch missile by Dominator. I'm pretty sure this is very similar to the Z12 missiles that I uh, that I had last year. But uh, might as well see what it does. Now, this item is not for free. This one I purchased. It's the uh, uh, Maddox Sun Ring Rockets. Um, now, these rockets uh, should perform very, very nice. I like the size of uh, the balls on these rockets here. Or the heads, should I say, on these rockets. They, they look very nice. It's, I think it's 1.75 inch. I mean, yeah, at least from what it looks like when you look at it. But, uh, yeah, these rockets uh, definitely should, should be real nice. I don't know if I'm going to do a, a Skyrocket comparison this year. Don't really have enough rockets to even try one this year but if i guess if i come across you know purchasing some other rockets along the way i'll, I'll think about it but uh, for now don't really have one planned uh uh for now so um so that's pretty much it as far as the uh purchase from uh, pyro dudes uh i want to give a big shout out to uh, chuck and uh pyro dudes fireworks uh for not only allowing me to purchase from them and uh but also throwing in some uh, free stuff as well uh, Chuck uh, drove a long way uh, to kind of meet up with me at the American Fireworks demo. Uh, not to mention, he also drove a long way after my uh, trip to uh, down to Hubbard back in February to make my IWF Boom purchase, where I initially uh, made uh, my first uh, the first half of my order with them. So, so a big shout out to those guys. I'm glad they were able to allow me to purchase from them, and I'm I'm hoping, keeping my fingers crossed, I can purchase from them every year because they have some they have some very very good items uh, on their website. So. Definitely, definitely the Pyro Demon stuff. That's the stuff that I was definitely looking forward uh, to getting. So, uh, big shout out to them, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy this stash update, and I'll see you guys next time.